Hello traders, I hope you had a wonderful day today. Today is the 19th of May, Wednesday, 2021. As always, I would like to show you how I help my traders through live intraday analysis and the best trade of the day. And I'm also going to share with you some useful price section tips. So stay tuned. Let's dig into the system and let me share with you guys how I did today. And if you don't want to miss my latest analysis update review, so feel free to subscribe to my channel. And just to recap traders, these are the intraday analysis alongside with the four hour analysis with the live audio commentary support. Let's dig into the uh, three major currency pair, Euro USD, pound dollar and the dollar CAD. All right. So Euro USD, if you look at uh, the four hour chart, as you can see here uh, yesterday, we had a long trade beautiful and price nicely hit as you can see that is the uh, weekly resistance level which is 122424 as you can see here price nicely respected we were taking a short uh, this morning and afterwards we were short we had another one small long because we were expecting price you know as soon as the price respected this level uh, which is 22050 we explained to look possibility of price might gonna continue we had a very small long trade but after that we had a beautiful short trade because in intraday the price developed head and shoulder pattern and that's why we enjoyed it short trade later on as you can see here price nicely basically broke on this major support trend support and even this is the previous high so let's see if the price gonna stay below uh 21811 a level so most likely we're going to be taking a pullback short trade but if the price is going to respect then long but as i said to you guys we are intraday so let's move into the today's analysis how i did in euro usd as you can see we had a beautiful if i show you here in euro usd this is the analysis so based on this four hour price section uh this is the analysis we did so this morning this is the analysis i did last night uh just uh, once i finished my recording i explained to trader the price develop another um bull flag pattern uh, which price nicely broken as you can see here and this based on the uh, momentum if you look at, at the bottom momentum was very bullish so we had this technically if you look at this was the uh from here as soon as the price respect this the long trade in four hour we bank beautiful pips as soon as the price hit to the red fib channel which is the weekly uh, resistance level in four hour and that's what we explained to trader it's time to bank some profit once we done that one then i did instantly i updated my analysis as you can see here uh, at the london morning session explained to trader possibility my price might going to develop a pullback here and that's the first priority otherwise we're going to take a breakout short because we can see here price nicely respected the major resistance level in four hour so you can see here we haven't seen any green candle at this level price nicely broke on and that's what we explained to trader right now guys we should be keep taking a pullback short trade here we have this if you look at the bottom momentum was bearish so we had a beautiful as soon as the price hit this previous low level and that's what in four hour as you can see here in 100 ema in intraday system and if you look at here this was the uh you know support level as you can see here price respected previously that's what we explained to trader it's time to bank some profit so we had a this counter short trade previously we had this breakout long bank beautiful pips and then afterwards counter short trade bank another beautiful pips and then later on at the new york session as you can see here price reverse and what we explaining to trader most of the trader was thinking that the price as soon as we see some bearish rejection we were expecting the price might gonna continue and i broadcast this analysis instantly as you can see here um, just a minute guys let me make it bigger so at least you can see it both of the analysis okay so yeah that's okay right so if you look at uh, this uh, analysis okay guys just a minute 
Okay, so this is the analysis. We already had this long and short at the New York session, just uh, you know, just before the opening bell. We had this breakout, as you can see here, price nicely broken. As soon as the price hit this level, and that what I explained to tell it is time to bank some profit, and, and then as soon as the price reverse. Uh, in the analysis as you can see here that's that time when i explained to my trader it's looked like the price is developing head and shoulder pattern in intraday and that's i instantly broadcast that analysis and that's what we explained to trader look guys we have this breakout based on the below analysis if you look at we had uh, this breakout and once we have this breakout and that's what we explained to trader look if the price is going to break this level then we're going to be taking a short trade here then we have the confirmation that the price is going to continue bearish so it's look like a head and shoulder pattern we're only going to confirm if the price is going to break um, this level which is pretty which is you can see here there's the level and if the price is going to break the recent high so we will consider the price might going to continue so what happened afterwards you can see the momentum develop bearish so price nicely basically developed a very small pullback but did not break the previous high that give us the confirmation and when we look at in four hour we said guys probably price might gonna continue bearish so we have this breakout and beautiful as soon as the price hit to the 200 EMA uh, at the 200 EMA and at the uh you know inside the bollinger band in four hour that's what we explained to trader it's time to bank some profit and look for another pullback as always you once we have the confirmation through intraday and in four hour you can see we also had this candle give us the bullish rejection so afterwards you can see a pretty straightforward we have this bank some profit as always after the pullback after the breakout we had another beautiful pullback short trade so that's what exactly we did so guys the most important thing is you need to look at in four hour um, that's what exactly we do at high time frame understand the price action in a high time frame and then basically refine your entries in a shorter time frame you can use a five minutes or 15 minutes we have built the systems uh, which is basically help us to refine our entries and exit which you can say more or less exactly you can say almost 15 minutes or five minutes uh, you know similarity of the chart but we are very comfortable as you can see we can easily pinpoint the entries and we had a beautiful short trade on euro usd so the uh, just let me remove this thing so if you look at the the tip i want to give it to you guys is always look for our uh, or high time frame and understand the bigger picture and once you understand like yes uh, today once we the price respected this level once we have this uh, you know candle if you look at this body of this candle is bigger than the previous body and we have this rejection and that's what we explained to trader if you look at uh, in a shorter time frame this was the wedge breakout and that's what we explained to trader to keep taking a pullback short trade more likely if the price is going to break this one we're going to keep taking a short otherwise if we see any good pattern then we long so you can see here even after this candle as i mentioned in a shorter time frame we had a head and shoulder pattern uh, in five minutes you can take it any breakout and beautiful trade so always look at higher time frame and you know refine their entries and exit in a shorter time frame and enjoy peeping all right let's move into the pound dollar uh, even pound dollar if you look at the bigger picture four hour as you can see that from uh, yesterday we were long if you haven't seen my yesterday analysis guys watch that video link is given in the video description all right guys so if you see the uh, yesterday we had a beautiful uh, you know long trade as I mentioned yesterday that the price nicely respected here so we are looking a short trade here I was expecting to be honest that my gonna have a pullback here but as I said to my trader we're going to trade what we see it in intraday so that's that's the whole, basically our rule so you can see here after that price nicely short trade here and if you look at an intraday and let me share with you all the analysis from here to here as you can see in a bigger time frame we have 
the price respected this level we were expecting a pullback so until that we were expecting a short and if the price gonna break we're gonna short here so after this candle we were expecting the price might gonna develop pullback but the price refused in intraday and as soon as the price refused to break this level and then we have taken a short trade here and bank beautiful pips and let me share with you those analysis intraday on pound dollar all right so if you look at uh, let me make it slightly bigger so at least i can give you a nice view all right so this is the analysis i did both for dollar and cad and all these three pairs in the night time for the asian uh, traders so this was the consolidation at that time so we had this uh, uh, breakout was performed at the london morning session in the london morning session i also updated that analysis here you can see here and based on that what we explained to trader guys we are going to trade what we see it and if you look at in the intraday system at the bottom momentum was bearish and that's what and the price was below on this more line you can see here and below this orange gma and you can see here price nicely broken and afterwards we explained to trader take another pullback keep taking a pullback as long as the momentum and as you can see from one fib channel to another fib channel that's our first target and that's what we explained to trader it's time to bank some profit and let's wait for the new york session all right so after that you can see price reverse in the another analysis and the this is the analysis at the new york session and explain to trader look for another breakout as explained to trader the best way to look for if the price gonna break the previous high or the recent high or the recent low as you can see this one so we were watching in four hour because we were expecting you can see here price develop low high and that's give us the confirmation price might gonna break and continue long at this level and as you can see here we taken a long trade most uh, some of the traders but technically afterwards this price this trade as soon as it hit to the resistance level and that's why we explained to trader it's time to consider tightening your stop loss which technically came back and we came out at the break even so once we the price basically reverse and that's instantly i update that analysis communicate with my traders that the price don't want to be up you know above the previous side which is look like the price has broken so more likely look for the short trade here so you can see here another triangle pattern is developed and that's what we explained to trader as you can see we had this breakout uh, which we technically came out at the break even and then afterwards i explained to trader if you look at technically price also uh, even though this uh, this is a triangle pattern but if you look at very carefully we had another bearish flag pattern that's another confirmation so you can see a breakout and explain to my trader if the price is going to respect after the breakout this level we're going to be keep taking a pullback short trade here because price refused to break uh, 41.659 which is the daily uh, resistance level and that's what we explained to trader keep taking a pullback so you can see here we have one pullback and another pullback condition was as long as the price stay below this 200 ema in intraday system which is you can use a five minutes or 15 minutes time frame and as long as the momentum is bearish so we have beautiful short trade as soon as the price hit this level and that's what we explained to trader it's time to bank some profit so you can see here we had a beautiful short trade based on the four hour price action as I explained to you guys um, yesterday and pound dollar price nicely respected this level second is we just find the uh, valid technical entries in intraday and keep enjoying banking some profit so right now you can see the price is at this level which is the previously broken as always the price action price broken and looking for another pullback we'll see if the price is going to respect then tomorrow probably going to be taking a pullback long otherwise if the price is going to break this major support level then keep taking a pullback short trade as i said to you guys we are intraday we always look at in this system and find the patterns and which coordinate with the price action of the high time frame and that's what we enjoying peeping all right so let's move into the dollar cad dollar cad we has amazing trades 
if I, if I show you, if you haven't seen my yesterday analysis, watch that video link is given in the video description from yesterday. As I mentioned that we were looking along from this level. So we were long and that's what we explained to Trader. Just keep taking a pullback every time when the price dip comes, just buying it. So that's what exactly we did. As you can see, the reason why, because if you look at the price section, the price could not maintain this level, which is 20 uh 44 7 124 20 44 7 level which is the previously last week low uh that's the false breakout and that's what we explained to trader and plus as explained to me a yesterday analysis the price respected so we were taking a pullback long so we already enjoyed and some of the traders are still holding it they're expecting the price might gonna hit one uh 22 000 level let's see how it's gonna go but most of the traders really enjoyed long on dollar cad all right so let me share with you the today's analysis and if you look at uh from yesterday we were long from that level as you can see in my previous analysis so this is the analysis i did yesterday last night as soon as I finished my recording for my asian session traders as you can see here this is the uh, analysis explain to trader if look for this breakout but mainly we were interested in long based on the four hour price action you can see we had a breakout as soon as the price hit bank few pips look for another pullback we had another beautiful pullback and price nicely hit this level so even in the london morning session i explained to trader just follow this analysis but still valid we're looking another pullback so we had another one or two pullback long at the new york session as you can see price came back and most of the trade was expecting price might gonna continue short but as i did this analysis and I explained to my trader this is a false breakout it's a good sign let's look at let's market settle down look for another pullback and if you get the pullback that is the confirmation that the price want to continue long so as you can see here price nicely develop another pullback at this level and we had another beautiful momentum was developed bullish and as soon as the price hit to the first target at this level as you can see here and bank beautiful pips and afterwards i explained to my trader just keep taking a pullback and to be honest most of the traders are banking beautiful pips as i said to you guys four hour keep in a high time frame once you develop the bias once you understand the four hour price section most important thing understand the candlestick pattern is very important and then look at in a shorter time frame and refine your entry and exit money management and risk management is a very important and key element into the trading all right so if you look at here after this pullback we bank some profit we have another two pullbacks beautiful pips all right guys as you can see one of the traders still bank 60 pips and still holding dollar cad uh, long trade still 100 pips in profit and if i click on the open price you can see this is the trade he taken it from yesterday um, that was a beautiful counter long trade and that was the let me share with you the um, dollar cat that's the he took short trade here at this level which is you can see the open price is 20 to 20 25 3 level still holding stop loss at the break even and the trader is expecting is going to hit 122,000. Let's see. All right, guys. So we had amazing trades. Most of them bank beautiful pips. Uh, or as you seen that Euro USD, everything. We have another beautiful trade, especially on the pound yen, all the yen pair. Let me share with you the pound yen, guys. We had amazing this morning. I explained to my trader, look for this breakout. As you can see, the price developed sideways market in four hour. That's what we exactly we're looking into it so as soon as the price develop uh, you know double top as you can see to fractal and that will explain to today if the price gonna break then we're gonna be taking a short trade here and that's what happened as soon as the price broken as always after the breakout keep taking a pullback short trade and so that's what we really enjoyed it as you can see here let me share with you the analysis uh, of pound yen you can see this was the uh, analysis first this was the yesterday analysis this is the analysis i did uh, just uh, london morning session as you can see here and this was the consolidation that's what we explained to trader look for this breakout and this breakout and but as explained to trader my 
traders don't trap into the false breakout also keep an eye in four hour because it's a very important because sometime in intraday you might be thinking price broken but you need a confirmation in four hour so as soon as this candle finished we had a confirmation of breakout that's what we explained to trader take a short trade here at this level as you can see here price nicely broken and afterwards as explained take a pullback and as soon as the price hit this level uh, and then what we explained today is time to bank some profit and look for another pullback straight away once my traders bank some profit and i did another analysis instantly as you can see here the price nicely respected at exactly uh, at this resistance at the uh, resistance level as you can see here and if you look at that's what we explained to trader if if you look at sorry guys so let me uh, remove this one and if you look at this is another bearish flag pattern if you look at technically this is and that's another sign of continuity of bearish so we have this one another breakout uh, and then afterward as always after the breakout another pullback as long as the momentum is bearish and that's what we explained to trader just keep taking short trades here as soon as the price came to the support level around um, this uh, you know monthly support level uh, that's time we explained to trader it's time to bank some profit so you can see we had amazing trades uh, on pound dollar we were short uh, on yen all most of the yen pair as soon as the price about to hit 153.405 level around this level and that's what we explained to trader it's time to bank some profit and enjoy and come back tomorrow all right so we have all this yen pair we had a beautiful short trade here you can see here once the price rejected in four hour again we look at in a four, four hour chart as soon as the price respected you can see this candle give us significant you know information bullish rejection as soon as the price broken and that's what we explained to trader look for breakout and otherwise the safest trade would be the pullback which traders have taken this pullback let me share with you you can see here another one uh, beautiful we have this breakout is performed after the breakout look at this pullback beautiful trade so that's what exactly we did i hope guys you enjoy as i said to you guys look at in a high time frame and refine your entries in a shorter time frame money management risk management is the key important in trading all right guys so i hope you enjoy all this analysis and as always if you would like to see um, all this analysis and details uh, analysis intraday analysis as just i showed you in real time uh, even if you don't have forex trading experience as i said to you my main objective is to train traders through live intraday analysis so they can develop their trading skill in real time and um, we can open door for them if they develop their trading skill banking all this pip so we can also arrange trading funds for them to trade from prop firms so if you are interested how i train and coach in real time to my traders uh, feel free to book a free one-to-one -one consultation my availability calendar link is also given in the video description or even if you are experienced trader and if you're just looking you know extra help uh, intraday analysis most of my tra traders they are swing traders they love it because they really need entries and exits so we basically help we we'll work like a team so i'm pretty sure you're gonna love to be part of my team and enjoying pipping every single day and uh, so most welcome to join my fast growing trader community once again guys thank you for watching this video have a nice evening stay blessed and until next time all the best